Hi, I'm Ben Secret, and today we're going to be adding glossy highlights to an image using Photoshop's Color Range tool. So the first thing we're going to do is add a bit more contrast to our image just to bring out the highlights we've already got. And to do that I'm just going to add a gradient map adjustment layer. And we just want a regular black to white gradient, and this should just give us a standard black and white conversion. And now because we only want this to have a toning effect and not to affect the color, we're going to change the blending mode to luminosity. And this should just give us a light contrast boost. And we can use opacity to control the strength of the effect. And now we're just going to bring out a bit more contrast in the midtones with the curves layer. And now because we don't want to affect the highlights and shadows too much and mainly control the midtones, we're just going to add two fixed control points at the top and bottom of a curve. And we're just going to add two more in the midtones, which we can pull apart to form a subtle S curve. And now we're going to do something you should never normally do when retouching a photograph, which is to paint directly on top of the image. So to do this, I'm just going to add a new layer. And I'm going to select a soft white brush with an opacity of about 20%. And here I'm just going to lightly brush over a few areas where we want to bring out the highlights. And this partly helps control and emphasize the effect of the color range tool which we're going to use next. And now we're going to add another new layer. And now go to the select menu and select color range. And as you can see, because white's our foreground colour, we're able to make selections in our image based on how close each pixel sits to white. And we just want to set our fuzziness slider low enough to bring out just a small sharp highlights to give us a kind of specular look. And with that okayed and all of that selected, we can just go to our fill option and select to fill all those regions with white. And now just to add a bit more punch, we're going to copy all our visible layers to a new layer. And we can do this with Command Alt Shift and E if you're on a Mac, or Control Alt Shift and E if you're on a PC. And we're going to change this layer's blending mode to hard light and turn the opacity down to 18. And now we're going to apply a high pass filter. And with a medium kind of value, this can just give us an enhanced local contrast effect. And I'm using a radius of about 16 pixels. And just grouping these together, you can see a before and after. And then you can tone down the strength of effect using the opacity slider in the group layer or in any of the individual layers.